you know, the gallery is this autonomous, seemingly autonomous thing, but actually it's a very personal project, and so much of it has to do with my relationship to um, the people that I know in the community, and then the specific artists that I meet, and, and their concerns, and the, the people in their lives. I think that you could make the argument that all art is political and that all art is, you know, promoting certain kinds of visibilities or um, economies. Um, in this case, because NA is like, specifically geared toward supporting queer artists, it's been interesting for us to think about the way that um, queerness, which, is, which has like the, the most open definition, uh, can be understood through through curatorial gestures. This space is really interested in like the intersection between queer dialogue and contemporary art dialogue. So we're trying to find like the place where those things meet and see what is interesting or productive or it's, you know, um, instructive there. I, I described the aesthetic of the gallery as being very austere, but, um, I mean, it's not. We don't really have an aesthetic. Like, what's really interesting to me are people who are trying to figure things out for themselves. They're either trying to figure themselves out, or they're trying to figure out, like, their relationship to, to the wider world. And, um, so long as they're doing that in some sort of curious way, then I'm happy. We have a lot of public events here. The place really transforms completely depending on what is happening here. Uh, but then, yeah, the, the door shuts and I, I sweep up and wash all the dishes and, uh, and then it's my home again. Bay Area Now.